My name is Jean Hulse, and I live in Maniloka, New Jersey. My husband's name is Scott Hulse. He's a captain of the Maniloka Fire Company, Station 35. What happened during Sandy? We basically had a big breach that came through from the breach, beach to where the bridge was that washed a lot of homes away. Unfortunately, my house got affected with my foundation, but at least my house is standing. It could be worse. I decided to help out during the storm when everybody started playing a role, the firemen, the policemen, and I just stepped up and I started cooking because that's what I do. So it's been 221 days since I've been cooking. I went to the University of New Hampshire for cooking, and I also went to Johnson & Wales for cooking, where that's where I met my husband. I came to New Jersey, and I started cooking privately for people in the town. I love the community of the town and keeping it local, but a lot of the residents that I've cooked for have lost their homes completely, so I've lost a lot of my clientele. I try to keep a budget around $60 a day for them to feed 25, 30 guys. It's a pretty tight budget, but I do the best I can. The people that come here to eat every day are they're all emergency workers. We have the Manilocan Police Department, Fire Company, the Public Works, some state troopers, and some sheriff department. They don't have to worry about going to get lunch. They can just all come down, just come from where they're working at, the road jobs or in the office, and just come and just sit together and just chill out for 30 minutes just so they don't have to be running around and just relax. They're so busy, they don't have time to run out to go get lunch. They need to worry about what they're doing, and I can worry about the food. I hope for the future in Manilokan that um, things start picking up a little quicker. People start coming back, the residents. Hopefully this summer will be a fun time for the few that are here and bring some life to the town. And um, hopefully we're home soon.